Saskatchewan, Prairie Land. Home to just over one million people, a place where dreams died. But it was not always this way. Yes, believe it or not, Saskatchewan was once a movie-making hub. Tons of films and television shows were shot and produced in the prairies, and Saskatchewan was one of Canada's leading film-producing provinces. Movies such as The Shortcut, an Adam Sandler produced horror film that I was an actor in, and TV shows like Corner Gas and Little Moscow on the Prairie were all shot in Saskatchewan. The success all started back in 1998, when Saskatchewan's film employment tax credit began. The center of all this was Regina, the capital city of Saskatchewan. Regina is home to the Saskatchewan Film Pool Cooperative and the Saskatchewan Media Production Industry Association, housed in the Canada-Saskatchewan Production Studios, which houses four sound stages, all with the capacity to accommodate the production of feature-length movies. Aspiring Saskatchewan filmmakers had everything they needed to bring their movie dreams to life. So uh, know there have been challenges around uh, the uh, the film tax credit, the tax grant that exists in our province and right across the country and in over 40 states in, in the United States. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we have seen that tax credit not work very well in this province of late. It is a bidding war today. People in the film industry, we heard the minister comment, are noting as taxpayers that it is a that, that there's a bidding war happening. And so it presents a choice. The industry itself has told us, by the way, you, you, you got not to just reinstate it, but in the report that was done, if you're going to keep up with everyone else in the bidding war, it's another $3.5 million with a taxpayer subsidy to go to the industry. And so you, we have to make a difficult choice and be the first one in the country to say, when it comes to that bidding war, we're not going to be in the bidding war anymore. In 2012, the Brad Wall-led Sask Party government eliminated the tax credit, and for a lot of people, those dreams came to an end. In over 14 years, the government had invested $108.8 million in the tax credit, which generated $623.4 million in economic activity, as well as accounted for 851 full-time jobs on average annually. Losing the tax credit was devastating to the industry as it would be to any industry. If you took, if you took all the uh, uh, tax incentives away from any industry in Saskatchewan, whether it be agriculture, uh, oil, gas, uh, mining, it would be devastating uh, because it is a business model that the world works on. You know, we had, we had good qualified people and quality technicians here. Uh, it's something that we built based on a system that works throughout North America. It wasn't a money-losing industry, and it was something that supported hundreds of families. We supported the enterprise, car rentals, budget rentals, um, caterers. Boy, hotels made off, made off of the industry in Regina during our heyday. Smaller hotels that were, were putting up crew and, and the bigger ones that were getting the notoriety of putting, putting Woody Harrelson. Up. You know? Something that bolstered not only financially, but for tourism. It was the dream of my life. And yet it was taken away. And just like that, the Saskatchewan film industry ceased to exist. But what does that mean for people like myself? Aspiring filmmakers here in Saskatchewan. I too have dreams. Dreams that I have had for as long as I can remember. I remember my first camera and all the fun I had making movies with my friends from a very young age. I remember being inspired to pursue my passion for storytelling and filmmaking by a certain beloved franchise. I'm Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. And ever since then, I have never looked back. When I was little, I think eight years old, uh, on a summer holiday, my dad, who was an avid uh, still photographer, um, took me into an old camera shop uh, in a small town in Saskatchewan. And uh, he showed me a shelf full of Kodak Brownie cameras. 
and uh, he asked me if I knew what they were, and I said, no, I don't. And he said, well, they're cameras, would you like one? And I said, sure, not knowing exactly what he meant by it. Um, he bought me that camera, and then he and I spent the rest of that summer learning how to use it, shooting as much film as we could, talking about film, talking about frames, talking about lighting, talking about composition. And uh, so it was from then on that I was hooked. My dad hooked me at the age of eight years, and uh, I've been doing it, it seems, ever since. The University of Regina offers a bachelor's degree in film, and I am currently a student in the film program. The students in the program, my classmates, also aspire to become filmmakers. I've absolutely fallen in love with sound. I love sound, sound design, Foley artistry. Um, I think it'd be really cool to get into um, Foley artistry at a sound studio. Um, I think that would be probably the funnest job I could ever have in life, ever. Big time is to, you know, direct feature films and, and to, to make lots of money, but uh, Ultimately, I, I just want to I want to put the things that I've I've learned from watching movies into some sort of practice, you know, like like maybe even go like work with the news or like work with other filmmakers uh, like on the projects. Maybe like hopefully to make my own movies and just to just to feel like I'm fulfilling my my need to make films as as well. You know, watching movies too, like it all it all kind of ties together. Um. I want to become a photojournalist. I want to do a lot of uh, documentary work. Uh, ideally, like, you know, be a cameraman for Al Jazeera or Vice or one of those outlets. I guess my greatest aspiration as a filmmaker has always been like, well, not always been, but recently my, my goal I've set for myself is to get to the point where I can burn down a house. Um, <laughs> realistically, I, I don't know how high I can aim. Uh, you know, you're, you're kind of crushed by the parameters of being a Canadian artist. But uh, yeah, if someone gives me enough money to burn a house down, that's probably, I can, I can retire happy. Uh, what made you guys want to pursue a career in film in Saskatchewan? I don't know, don't do it, you guys. <laughs> 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 it's not, it's not it's not like going like engineering, you know? <laughs> or dentistry. <laughs> love being a dentist? <laughs> I think you just, you know, you can't control what you love, but sometimes you can't control where you are, so just going to smash it. I would like to see Saskatchewan bring back the tax credit. I think it's really important to support the arts. We've had a lot of funding to the arts cut over the years, and I think we should start to slowly bring that back because the arts are really important. I don't think a lot of people realize how important the arts can be. It's a way for self-expression. It's a way to connect with other people in your community. So I think like actually providing the, the means necessary for people here to to fulfill the, the careers that they want to pursue is important. You know, you're not diminishing chances. You know, I guess not everybody can afford to, to move away. So being out here in the, in the prairies and you want to make movies, it, it's tough. So yeah, it would give a leg up for people that they, they can move on, they can stay, rather than than just planning to move on. Like you, you at least have a choice because a lot of for a lot of people, this is an important place. It's their home. Saskatchewan uh, needs that uh, tax credit to you know, help the film industry here. And I have a lot of friends, obviously I'm in the film program, who are filmmakers. And to, to see them having to work you know, jobs completely unrelated to the field that they went to school in is kind of heartbreaking. You know, these people really want to work in this creative field and this, uh, this handicap is holding them back. So I want to I want it back even if I'm not personally benefiting it from it because you know this I want the industry here to thrive. This is Saskatchewan, this is my home. We have one of you know the better film programs in the in the country, one of the better sound stages in the country. And it's empty right now and you know we're spending money on grad retention credits, but we're not supporting the industry to, to keep our graduates in in province. I think the film industry in Saskatchewan could come back very easily. All it takes is a will from the reigning government. Um, we just need a tax credit back. As soon as you give us a tax credit or a business model that the, that the world can look at and say, okay, they're back in business, or they're going to come. I think that the film industry in Saskatchewan um, has advantages over some of the other industries in our province. Uh, and I think a couple of them are we retain young people. 
and that's really important. Young people are very interested uh, in, in television and film and, and in the production of those two uh, mediums. And uh, the other uh, really important aspect of film is that it's renewable. It's people, it's ideas, it's stories. And uh, those kinds of things don't disappear. So can the film industry live again? Absolutely. Will, will the film industry prosper again? Absolutely. Is it difficult to get the film industry back in Saskatchewan? Absolutely not. All it takes is a government willing to give us a tax credit, let us go to work, and watch the magic happen. But where do we go from here? With no industry, with no tax credit, some of us will stay and try to make do with what's left, hoping for the return of a tax credit. While in the meantime, others like myself will only look ahead, beyond the prairies, towards the future, somewhere, hoping to one day catch our fleeting dreams. Mm -hmm.